football's popping, people. Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, Ice Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well today in lockdown. Hey, we might all be stuck inside, but at least we got YouTube, eh? My beautiful mug to keep you company every single day here on Football Therapy. <laughs> Welcome to today's Chelsea news video where we will be talking about three stories today in this video. The recent tragic, desperate, sad and worrying news that Chelsea have maybe reportedly lost the race of Alex Tellez, the, Ross, blah, 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 the race to Alex Tellez to none other than super rich French club Paris Saint-Germain. Mm. I'll be expressing my thoughts on that. Obviously it's not concrete yet, but there's a lot of stories, well headlines, following a Brazilian story saying Tellez has agreed to go to PSG. So we're gonna talk about that. Chelsea apparently want Jordan Pickford. Do me a favor, mate. Yeah, we'll be probably quite quickly brushing over that. And also the Olivier Giroud saga continues. Apparently he has agreed to go to Inter Milan. All terms are sorted, if you believe the media. And this recent positive vein at form at Chelsea Football Club is not enough to see him sign an extension, but we move. So I'll be giving all you guys the updates, but a big thank you straight off to all of you who's hanging out with me every single day on Jan's Yard for FIFA 20 live streams. Every day at 6pm on Jan's Yard, FIFA 20 Chelsea career mode. I'm getting better with your help. You guys are training me. You're telling me what to do with my team, who to sign, etc. Make sure you come and join at 6pm. Links in the top of the description. See you there. All right, let's get on with it. Right, let's just get this one out of the way for my own sanity. £43.5 million rated Everton goalkeeper Jordan Pickford has been linked to Chelsea Football Club today. Now, before I start, I've got nothing against Jordan Pickford. I'm an Englishman. I watched the World Cup. I watched his semi heroics in the World Cup. And yeah, you know what? Big up Jordan Pickford. He's a funny geezer. He likes to get the rave on, apparently. And whatever. Good luck to him. You know, I probably think he shouldn't be England's first goalkeeper anymore. And I certainly think he should not be Chelsea's goalkeeper. I looked at this link, I want to brush it away, and I probably will brush it away after just telling you guys that it's been in the news headlines today. Pickford has had a bad season. When you looked at all these, like, you know, stats tables where Kepa read the Balaga was at the bottom and everyone was like, wow, Kepa's really bad, Chelsea need to deal with this. I'm not saying Kepa's a bad player, but he's been bad. You know what I mean? What was going on in the media? People sort of failed to recognise that even if he was 20th place, on all these stats tables, do you know who was about 19th place? That's right, Jordan Pickford. Sure, he can make the odd brilliant save. Sure, he can do really good long passes. Chelsea play football with the ball. They don't want to play long passes. They want to play out from the back quickly, comfortably, and they want a guy who they can rely on to stop all kinds of shots. Do nothing silly, don't have a rush of blood. Jordan Pickford has all these I was going to say faults, I want to say attributes, I don't want to, like I said, I'm not in the business of slating players, but I just don't want to a Chelsea football club. Anyway, let's move that out of the way and move on to the other stories. So we all know the deal with Giroud, he wanted to go in January, he's come out since and said he tried everything he could to make the move happen in January, because he knows, or well, he knew he wasn't playing for Chelsea, he knew it was his last ch chance to play a European competition or an international competition with France. Um, he might have actually lost that chance now it's been extended to next summer. And the rest is history. He had to stay. Apparently he wasn't kicking up too much of a fuss. He just expressed his desire to leave. Anyway, he stays at Chelsea. The window closes. He actually gets back into the team in the last stages of this season and plays well. Played well against Everton. Played well against Liverpool in those two comprehensive wins from the blue. So everyone thought, all right, Giroud, you're my boy. You're my boy and you're back. Tammy can, you know, be the long-term whatever striker but for the moment Giroud it's working thanks mate and people speculated due to the Euros maybe being too far away from him now that he might extend with Chelsea and then who knows go straight to the MLS afterwards like he'd recently spoken about but no apparently this isn't the case news headlines around football media these last couple of days are saying Giroud has agreed terms fully now with Inter Milan Antonio Conte previous coach to go and sign a contract with them. Now, I imagine it will be more of a long-term contract rather than the 12-month extension that Chelsea will offer him. To be honest, man, off the bat, 
Good for him. I like Giroud. I do see the value of what he offers Chelsea. He's one of the people on the pitch that hates losing. That's just like, come on, come on. And he tries to like jeer up the team, even if he's coming off the bench and trying to, you know, just change the mentality. That's a seasoned pro. He's been very good for Chelsea. FA Cup, Europa League, top scorer in the Europa League as well. Do you know what I mean? That's a really good player, an absolute bargain at 18 million. And it's quite easy to let him go because he's 33 going on 34. Do you know what I mean? So good luck to him. Hopefully he does get a three year contract at Inter, something decent. And hopefully he can score goals for him, for him, for them, and for Conte being him. You see what I mean? So I thank you, Giroud. It does look like it's the end of the road for you here at Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea have got Tammy Abraham, Armando Broja, Michy Batshuayi, but hopefully we're going to sign another centre forward and hopefully open a new dawn of prosperity and goals for the Blues. So we move. Right, Alex Tellez. Chelsea have long since been negotiating with Porto for the transfer of the Brazilian left back to Stamford Bridge. Chelsea very much need a left back. He's a sort of in his prime age. A lot of Chelsea fans preference Tellez over all other options. Um, although some people see value in getting a younger player for building a long-term project with the other young Blues. And obviously a fullback relies on a young dynamic engine that can go up and down. Tellez has obviously got that, but it's how long has he got that for? Still, Chelsea have been negotiating with Porto for a long time, it was reported. But recent headlines over the last couple of days are saying Chelsea have lost the race to Paris Saint-Germain. Right, Tellez has got like a year left on his contract at Porto. Chelsea wanted to get him for like originally £20 million. They wanted a, Porto wanted his full release clause. Chelsea were like, no mate, it's going on a free next season. You cannot get that full release clause. So they're in negotiations. And apparently since, well, Brazilian reports since have said that PSG have swept in, so I've said, look, we have loads of money. Stop dealing with Chelsea, mate. Just give them a rest for a moment. Send, send them our way. We'll just make everyone happy with the peas. I'm sure we'll have a nice time playing with Brazilian uh, comrade Neymar and crew and just generally winning all the time. That would be nice for him. So, you know, it might work for everyone except Chelsea. Now, if you watch my channel, you remember me saying a few videos ago that Chelsea's number one target does remain Ben Chilwell. Now, it's frustrating because I've expressed my thoughts on it for a long time, how I think he'll be way overpriced, but perhaps if the transfer market is indeed changing and shifting, he'll probably go down from 80 million to 60 million, maybe? Who knows, maybe even 50 million. I don't think Leicester need to sell, but I'm just thinking maybe the price will drop. He'll still probably end up being at least double the price of Tellez, which hurts. And also Ben Chilwell has been in poor form of late in the Premier League, which doubly hurts when you watch Tellez just smash goals in his league. Pain. But if you want to truly believe in the future dynasty and long-term rebuild of Chelsea Football Club, you have to look long term, man. Ben Chilwell is long term, and like I said, I maintain that myself and probably loads of other Chelsea fans. If you see Ben Chilwell, young, dynamic, fullback, starter for England, holding up a Chelsea shirt, signing a long term deal, you'll feel excited. You feel like, come on, mate, do bits for Chelsea, be good, be whole again. You've got Reese James on the other flank trying to, you know, up your game. You've got to be like him, be great together. Come on, please work out. Still, this is not set in stone. These are just reports saying Tellez has agreed terms with PSG and is all good, or PSG have agreed the sale of Porto. It's not concrete. Nothing is until it is, of course. But I want to let you guys know that Chelsea, of course, are still really interested in Chilwell. And apparently, Alex Tellez of Porto was, off, was really just a backup. Maybe Porto learnt that and they were like, all right, you're not that serious. You only want to pay a little bit of money will consider other offers, and PSG often come in with beefy offers. Anyway, express your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below about all three of these players. Jordan Pickford, yeah, I'm sure you don't want him like me, probably. Olivier Giroud, sad, but fair enough. And Ben Chilwell instead of Alex Tellez. Can you get over it? How do you feel about it, man? If you've enjoyed the content I've provided for you guys today, please do like the video. That helps me out a lot. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you are new to football therapy. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, guys. Enjoy the football that's not happening, and I will see you later. Always
so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I let me baby